Alright, hey guys, what's up? Long time no see. Today I have for you just a small unboxing of the AS Rock H61MU3S3 motherboard uh, from AS Rock. I got this off Newegg. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right in here. Of course, you can see it's got the new B3 uh, stepping chipset, built in visuals, compatible with Windows 7, supports the Intel Core, and it's got the H61 chipset. Uh, on the side of the box, just logos, 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 and just a little bit of a AS Rock technical support contact information right there. So as soon as you open up the box, you will see you have the rear panel for uh, your motherboard. It's not labeled, it's uh, labeled, however, it's not color coded. You have two SATA cables that come uh, for the SATA connections for your hard drive, CD drive, instructional manual, uh, installation tutorial CD software uh, as soon as we remove this cardboard piece right here we're greeted with the motherboard which is inside a protective wrapping right here so we'll get rid of this box let's go ahead and pop up all this protective wrapping take it right out of the bag and as you can see this is the actual motherboard itself processor uh, connection 24 pin power, graphics card, two PCI uh, slots, PCI Express. Uh, for connections, you have the uh, PS2 motherboard and mouse hookups, VGA, DVI, built in HDMI, standard uh, HDMI, two USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0s, as well as two more USB 2.0s right here. Audio connections, Ethernet, uh, supports up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. I only have my 8 gigabytes. Uh, it has dual CPU connections, and this is a LGA 1155 uh, connection for a heatsink and processor. And for a processor, I just have the processor that I pulled out of my old, uh, older computer uh, motherboard, which is the Intel Pentium. It's a dual core, it's the G620. Uh, in my opinion, it's a piece of crap. I'm going to upgrade to the i5 soon. But it comes with the battery, that's the H61 chipset right in there. You have two SATA 3s, or otherwise known as two SATA ga uh, 6 gigabytes per second, and then you have four uh, SATA 3 gigabytes a second, aka the SATA 2. Uh, just, you know, more connections for any other pieces that go into your motherboard. Uh, this is actually going to go inside. I had to get a new motherboard due to the fact that my solid state drive was actually incompatible with my uh, stock motherboard and yes I actually was running a stock it did die out on me finally so I just kind of gave that um, one away to a good friend but this is the uh, Phoenix 3 SATA 3 two and a half inch solid state drive 120 gigs and w even with my stock motherboard I was able to run some of it but it just was not the motherboard was not able to read it fast enough so I was getting uh, locking up the system and it just was not running properly. For a heat sink, for the processor, I'm gonna use the one that I pulled off my old motherboard. This will fit, it's LGA 1155. Thermal paste, I'm gonna use the Antec uh, Formula 6 Nano Diamond uh, thermal paste. And then just other components, of course, my beloved NVIDIA GTX 560. And, you know, basic fans, and it's all gonna go inside the case that I showed off in the unboxing earlier on either way I just wanted to you know show you guys that quick little video uh, the back of the motherboard you know nothing special basic backing of a motherboard but either way just that quick little uh, video just demonstrate uh, unboxing of the a uh, AS rock motherboard uh, this does have the mouse controllable bios on it it's nothing like the newer uh, a Asus motherboards it's still a little bit more low-key but it's still mouse controllable which I absolutely love I might do a little video demonstrating the mouse controllable BIOS. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out iTech News Daily, which is the channel you're watching on right now, as well as Gamer Tech Weekly, which contains gameplay commentaries, a uh, couple unboxings for more gaming-related uh, computer hardware, uh, gameplays, uh, commentaries, tutorials, walkthroughs, whatever you want to call them. Go ahead, check that out. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my channels, Check out my Facebook and visit my website, and I'll see you guys in the next video.